guys, my name's Lainey and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be covering a number of different things. I'm going to take you through a regular day of what I eat. I'm going to cover some back pain issues that I've been having and also how you can cope with all the holiday food and how you can minimize weight gain over the holiday season. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe because I've got a lot of new and exciting things coming in the new year. morning guys and welcome to my back pain vlog today i have planned on doing a full day in the life day of eating you know how to deal with holiday food how to deal with holiday weight gain how to avoid it two days ago i went to the gym i did squats i did my glute workout that evening i went into manchester to stay with some friends and celebrate my engagement i put down a bag and when i got up my back seized I'm not really sure what I did to it. I can't really pinpoint what caused the back pain, but right now I'm in a lot of pain all down my spine and right up into my trap. So today I was meant to do a back and shoulder workout because that's what's on my schedule. And I don't think I'll be able because now I'm going to a physio. My advice for anyone suffering from acute back pain, where it's just after springing up from an injury from the gym, just take a rest day. Don't put any extra pressure on yourself. Go and see a professional if you can. Um, use heated packs. Take some ibuprofen or anti-inflammatory just to take away the pain. Don't train through the pain. Okay, it's doggy advent calendar time. Are you going to show me how you're going to bed? Good girl, can you sit and wait for your advent calendar? So these are chocolate treats for dogs, so obviously they won't make them sick because you can't give dogs real chocolate. Here we go. Good girls. Lexi, is it time for your advent calendar? Ooh, this is true. Sometimes he shares, sometimes he doesn't. I've always shared. Where is my advent calendar, Lex? Well, what happened was a raccoon. I went to the shops. Damn. Won't let me in. Try fighting him. Anti Christmas Grinch raccoon. This is a new one. I never had that one. Ten days to go. Later. Our Asda delivery has just arrived. I do all my shopping online with Asda. This is not an advert. I am not in any way promoting Asda as an option. It's just what I use. Oh. Well, this rocket has had better days. Hmm. Quickly take you through what a regular weekday shop is for me and what I'll be eating over Christmas to try and overcome all the bad things I'm going to be eating over Christmas. <laughs> I think that might be enough alcohol to get me through the holidays. <laughs> so this is what a standard grocery haul looks like. I like to keep pineapple in the house because pineapple is a natural anti-inflammatory and it helps with the synthesis of protein. So if you're taking in a lot of protein and finding it difficult to digest, Pineapple, also a great source of carbs for your pre-workout. Warburton's have started doing these protein breads. So I always get these rolls just for with soups. An average roll has 20 grams of carbs, 2.9 grams of fat, 5.2 grams of fiber. So they're actually quite high in fiber and almost 10 grams of protein. I find these very convenient. Uh, you can just throw them in the microwave, mashed sweet potato. Macros are amazing. A lot of them you have to watch out for the fat in the mash because they'll add in butter and that'll increase the fat intake but these are only 0.9 grams of fat, 9 grams of carbs and 1.1 gram of protein and then you also have the addition of the fibre. When it comes to veggies I'm all about the asparagus, it helps with water retention so if you're eating a lot of high salt foods over Christmas get your asparagus in and eat that with your meals, it will help get rid of that water retention. I adore mushrooms they are pretty much calorie free you can have loads of them they're great at bulking up meals and i love the taste of mushrooms if you're having soup over the holiday season you can get zero fat creme fraiche put a dollop in your soup and make it all fancy i plan on making my own soup over christmas and what i do is roast some butternut squash with some of the sweet peppers and onion and garlic and then blitz it up with some tin tomatoes and herbs. Fajitas are a firm favourite in our house so I always have a selection of peppers ready for fajitas and also this weekend we are friends staying so I'm going to add 
these to some skewers and make it with some couscous and have a big feast. Obsessed with persimmon or Sharon fruit, we have them in the house over Christmas. And my favorite apples by far are Pink Ladies. They're lovely and sweet and crunchy. We have the Candrel, which I put in my coffee. Have some 0% Faye, total 0% yogurt. This Borsan Light is amazing. It's really tasty, like the Borsan, the original, but it has less calories. Per 100, it's only nine grams of fat, and I think the original Borsan might be up to 20 grams of fat, so that's quite a good saving. And you can add this into chicken dishes, pastas, or just have it on crackers. Asda have a really good range of 50% less fat, soft cheese. I like the garlic and herb, and I also like the onion and chive, just to go on bagels, or again, mix it in with chicken and pastas. At the moment, I'm really enjoying these Arla protein yogurts. They have like a layer of fruit in the bottom and the macros are quite good in it. So per 150 grams, there is 0.3 grams of fat, 12 carbs, and a whopping 14.1 grams of protein. So great to have in the house just for that protein boost. Keeping it healthy with your healthy fats, you've got avocados, so you can have that with some smoked salmon, scrambled eggs, or just mashed up with some chili and salt and put it on some toast. To try and encourage me to drink water, I've been buying the six packs of 1.5 litre bottles of Evian. We also have the smaller bottles of Smart Water and it just encourages us to drink water. Right now, I'm all about that Orangina Light. It's just really super tasty, sparkling orange, and it has like the little bits of orange in it. Yeah. I've shown you before that I'm really all about the coconut almond milk. It's amazing in coffee, maybe a bit too sweet for in tea or for on cereals, but definitely a great alternative to dairy milk. This is by far my favorite jam. I normally don't have jam in the house because I'm not that great at controlling myself, but this um, St. Dalfour wild blueberry, really tasty, and it doesn't have any additional sugar in it, so it's all from the natural fruit juices, and it's just big chunks of fruit in the jam, yum. So for dessert time over Christmas, you don't have to go too crazy. You can indulge in some vanilla yogurt that's light. And then we have a chocolate Froyo, both available from any supermarket. And the chocolate Froyo is Asda own brand. So over Christmas, I will be indulging in a lot of chocolate, cheese, all the bad things, mince pies but I will have the healthy alternatives there and I will be going for healthy options when I can to try and balance out the treats. Christmas is a time to celebrate, spend time with friends and family and enjoy some treats, some wine, some delicious food, but you don't want to sacrifice your diet and your training completely. Check out what times your gym is open at over Christmas. You may just feel better about yourself to go in and do a bit of a workout, maybe run on the treadmill, just to kind of overcome the guilt of the chocolate orange and the selection boxes and the Reese's cups that you're eating over Christmas. Every meal does not have to be a bad meal over Christmas. Remember, turkey breast is not fattening. Potatoes, not fattening. What you're looking at avoiding is overindulging in the bad things, but still enjoy your treats. So balance it out, balance out your holidays. Just don't feel guilty and overcome it with walks outside with family, going to the gym and eating healthy where you can. It's 3 p.m. and I'm only having breakfast now because I've had a busy morning trying to get things done, trying to get orders out for Christmas, for Desire. I also had to get my secret Santa present out. I am doing a YouTube secret Santa, which was organized by Yami. I had to get my present out so that I get to my secret Santa person in time. So now I'm having oats with PB2 mixed with water, standard, and then I'm off to the physio. So I don't know what we're gonna train today. Depends on how well this physio goes. I'm just back in from the physio and I have been loosened out. I'm now free. She just cracked the middle part of my back. She feels that what has happened is that my glutes are quite weak, which I've always known my glutes are quite weak and my quads being quite strong normally compensate for a lot of the weakness in my glutes. And when I was squatting the other day, probably what happened is that my glutes didn't engage and fire off at the right point. So therefore my lower back took the brunt of it and that's why I'm getting the pain up through my back. You need to look after your back. It's so essential. So I really feel that in January, I'm gonna go back to doing 10 minutes each day of some Pilates and back strengthening exercises. Comment below if you would like to see some of these exercises. 
I don't know if you know this, but I am a fully qualified Pilates instructor. So I could do some simple back strengthening exercises I need to get back to it. So if you want to do it with me, just comment below. And now I'm going to enjoy a coffee and a grenade chocolate crunch bar. If you're wondering, this is my favorite flavor. They have like about five or six different flavors and I get them from Muscle Food. I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and I'm gonna take the rest of the evening off and just like do some wrapping of presents and things like that and take the evening off from the gym because I don't wanna put any extra pressure on my back just while it's still a little bit sensitive. It's not perfect yet, but I do have a good range of motion back. I'm having a snack. It is salt and vinegar muscle food crisps with a dip that is Walden's Farm um, Chipotle Ranch dressing. But it's an awesome dip and it's like guilt free. Right now I'm about to make dinner. It's gonna be a very simple recipe. I'm gonna have some chicken breast from muscle food. I'm gonna wrap it in some ham for me. And let's get some prosciutto. Then we are going to fill the chicken with some of the borsan light. And I am going to opt for a cheddar laughing cow in the middle. And then we're going to have it with some of the mashed sweet potato. Simple, tasty dinner. Now we have a nice flat surface to add the cheese to. As you can see, it's just lightly covered in the borsan. Here we have like a roll up of the chicken with the cheese and we're going to wrap it in three slices of the I have the chicken and ham wrapped in tin foil. I have the oven on preheating to about 200 to 220 depending on your oven get it nice and hot then put your chicken in I'm going to add some asparagus to the tray I just have it parboiling then I'm going to have some tender stem broccoli and extra fine beans mm. because Help. I'm going to make a very simple mushroom sauce from the side. So we have mushrooms. I like the chestnut ones. They're my favorite. I like the flavor of them. Got some diced up garlic, some fresh baby spinach. And then this is amazing. It's the quark cooking cheese. So this is a garlic and herb one. They also have a sun-dried tomato one. And you just add that in and it's fat free and full of protein. So we've got per 100, 4.7 grams of carbs, 9.9 .9 grams of protein and 0.3 grams of fat. Perfect for cooking with. Here we have my dinner of ham wrapped chicken with cheese in the middle. We have the spinach, quark cooking sauce and mushroom sauce here. There's some sweet potato loads of green vegetables and there's Lex's very similar just different portion size. Very easy to cook for people who have different macro requirements or even for kids just adjust and weigh the food differently. With kids maybe make it just a little bit more adventurous so that they don't think they're eating boring food. I'm going to leave the vlog here for tonight guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel as always please subscribe. Used to be, if I had a